Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimmy Clark. If you are new here, I do everything from fashion to lifestyle to beauty. And if you are not new here, thank you for supporting this channel. Um, today, I am actually trying a full face of Sheen makeup. I have a lot. I have a full face here. The only thing I don't have, I think, is um, false, eye false eyelashes. But I don't know. I'm really excited. So I hope everything turns out. I've never tried any of their makeup, so this is going to be fun. And all their stuff looks nice, like looks really nice. So I just want to jump in and get started. Um, I'm going to start with my eyes as I normally do. And I got this concealer. It doesn't say the shade. Um, I will put it in the link in the description. I'm not sure why it doesn't say the shade right here, but whatever. Um... The Dofa looks pretty average. I typically use the, this on my eyes. I don't believe. Yeah, I didn't get uh, an eye primer. So I'll just use this for my eyes. And I did actually get a set of their sponges. They had several different kinds. But this was a three pack. And I got it wet and it did like double in size. It feels so like spun. Like it just feels like the right. It doesn't feel too dense. It feels nice. Um, so yeah, let's start with this. So the coverage looks actually really nice. Um, I really like the way it looks. It looks like it's pretty dewy and looks just really natural. So, so far I really like that. It doesn't look like it's very high coverage. Now under the eyes, this might be a whole different story for me because, you know, I do have pretty bad, like, bags, so... But on the eyes, this looks really pretty, like really natural. I don't know. I'm really digging it on the eyes. The sponge did look like it absorbed some stuff, but um, the sponge feels so nice. I can't get over it. Maybe it's because I haven't used a sponge in a while, but I'm like really digging it. Okay, and then for my eyes, I actually did get... um. They have so many palettes, and if this is nice, I'm definitely ordering more. But they had um, Nude Beginnings eyeshadow palette. Pan sizes look good. The colors look really pretty. It's just like a nude palette. I just wanted to get something kind of, you know, that could go with everything right now. Like, if I know it's good, then I'll definitely go back with some colors. Um... And then I also, for my eyes, I'll just show you this now. These were in trio packs, and I bought two of them. I must have not been able to decide. Um, these are, like, eyeshadow shimmers, liquid ones, you know? And I got six, so I got two different packs. I believe this was all in one pack, so this was, like, the nude pack and then this pack. I'm probably going to use this pack. I'm not sure. I definitely want to use them today. Um, I'm excited about those. Okay, so let's go into the eyes. I'm going to go into the shade Rogue, which is that brown shade right here, and I'm going to use that for, um, my transition shades a little above my crease. There's a little bit of pickup, but not much. That shade looks pretty so far. Ooh, that looks really pretty. Like, I'm not sure if it shows on camera as good as it does in person, but this is, like, super pigmented. Oh my gosh, and it blended out so good. This is just so nice. Sounds like your girl's getting some more, uh, palettes. Like, when I found out that Sheen sold makeup, because originally I didn't know, um, I saw a girl on my Facebook post, like, just so y'all know, Sheen has good makeup. And at first I was like, what? Because I had already started doing, like, the try-on hauls from Sheen. So I was like, how have I never, like, seen that advertised on the page or, you know, like, anything? And I'm glad she posted that because, like, this is what's up. And it's so, it's all affordable. Like, really nice. I hope the foundation shade matches me though. There was several options. I just didn't really know what to choose. Okay, so now I think I'm going to go into the shade Corduroy, which is this dark brown, and I'm going to put that on this outer corner using the same number 9 BH 
or it's not BH, it's Do Color Brush. Ooh, this is also very pretty. The shade is kind of like, kind of has like a red undertone underneath the brown, which is like, I'm fine for. Like, I'm here for it. That's what I was trying to say. I said I'm fine for. Ooh, this is really pretty, you guys. Okay, so I think I want to go into Devil's Food, which is that darkest shade in this palette. It's this one right here. That is so dark. I don't know if you guys can, like, even tell, like, how dark it is, but it's so much darker than the rest, and it just, like, it just really darkened up this corner. It looks so nice. I seriously cannot wait to get more of their makeup now. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. And I'm, like, not even really that far in. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be using any of the shimmer shades in here, but I do want to swatch them just so you can see them. So I'll just like put them on my hand or something real quick. Okay, so top shade is Moon Dust, then it goes After Six, then it goes All the Riches, then it goes to Cinnamon Sticks, to Vision, and then Subliminal. I love all these shimmer shades. I think they're very pretty. This was just one quick, easy, you know, dip and swipe. Um, I definitely will be using these, but I really want to use these, um, shadow sticks just because, or these liquid sticks, because I've, I keep buying them and then I just end up never using them because I'm like, oh, I'll just use this, whatever. Not specifically these ones, just ones in general, like the e.l.f. ones, the, it's, it's a bad habit. So I'm trying to think, I feel like I kind of want to use this one, but at the same time, it's kind of dark. I don't know if I necessarily want to go gold. I think I'm just going to go in with this one, this orangey, more like a rose gold one. Delpha looks like, you know, it, it should. It actually grabs quite a bit of product too. So I was kind of scared putting it on just because I've never used one of these. And I do have hooded eyelids pretty bad. But now I'm just going for it. I'm like, screw it. I am applying them a little bit higher than what my natural crease is. God, it's so pretty, you guys. So pretty. I'm happy I chose that. It's so pretty. And I actually do have this cool eyeliner as well. Um, so it comes with like a normal felt tip for the black eyeliner. But then on the other side, it comes with that basically like a stamp to do your wing. So I'm like, I really want to try that. I've always wanted to try one of those. So I bought it just to see if I like it or not. So here it goes. Let's see how it works on my eyes. These are still a little wet. So I'm going to probably wait a second to see if it dries down a little. Okay, so the stamp works good. I don't, I don't see any issue with it. I say that and then this other eye doesn't doesn't stamp the same way so I'm like great I spoke too soon it's gonna save me a lot of time like if I do like it and if it lasts long and if it doesn't like transfer or if it dries down good you know there's all those different factors that factor in Okay, so that was like the easiest wing liner I've ever done in my life. It's so black. It's moved on so quick. I hope it dries down good. It's like the easiest shit I've ever done in my life. I seriously cannot get over this. This is seriously the easiest wing liner I've ever done in my life. And it's so black, it's easy to apply. This is definitely a win. I mean, so far, I kind of feel like everything's a win in my eyes. I did get new mascara. I'm just going to apply it at the end. Okay, so for the primer, I actually got this She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. It's a smoothing rose, and it comes in this really nice, like, it feels like glass, glass container. Um, the lid's really nice. It's all silver, and it came with this, like, application spoon, so I thought that was kind of cool. Ooh, and I feel it looks like kind of like a putty primer. It's just real thick. Like, can you see where I got into it? Oh.
It smells really good. It's not like super strong smelling though, so you don't have to worry like if that bothers you. It feels like, it says like it's a smoothing rose, but it kind of feels like it's like really cooling on the skin as well. This would probably feel really nice if you kept it like in a, um, like a mini fridge, you know? It kind of feels a little, like a little silicone-y. I hope none of this stuff breaks me out though. It feels really nice. It feels like really nice. Okay, for the foundation though, it honestly came in like this. Well, everything came in a box that was wrapped in plastic that was then bubble wrapped. So it like, if it didn't come to you like broke, like if it came to you broken, I don't see how because this stuff is like, like I first came down here to do this video and I was like, oh, I'll just take a second. I eventually was just like, I guess I should just sit down because like unwrapping all this shit was like a big hassle, but I'm fine with it because I'd rather have my stuff come good. But it was just kind of like, holy crap. So it came in like this protective, like vel velted sleeve inside the box. This is the packaging. It's like a frosted um, glass. It's the long lasting breathable matte foundation in the shade Nude. It's got a pump. The lid's really cute. It's got gold. That feels good. I'm going to apply this on the back of my hand. Probably like a pump and a half. Ooh, it feels nice. The shade looks like it's gonna match me. I almost put that in my mouth. I don't know what I was like gonna eat it or something. <laughs> oh my gosh let's try the sponge again it's like super bouncy and it just feels really nice looks like it's a little light on me but it might oxidize Ooh, close up in the mirror though it looks like skin like i can't remember what the claims were on that like if it was like a big coverage or oop it says shake well before use i didn't shake it at all well i didn't shake it today <laughs> next time i guess i guess i'll give you an update if something happens because i did not shake it i literally just looked at it to see what the claims were and it said that so i'm like oh my gosh so far it's sitting well in between my um eyebrows that's basically the worst spot for me like I don't know foundation just doesn't sit right right here it's just so bad looking so half the time I'm like should I just not even put foundation there just leave it normal I can't get over how good this foundation looks it's not very like full coverage but this did soak up a lot I feel like so maybe next time I'll try it with a brush I'll do like an updated version with a brush but so far it's sitting so nice on my skin like covered up what I needed it to and it still just looks like regular skin like you can't even see it on my face it seems like so I'm gonna go back in with that concealer put this under my eyes this kind of has like a yellowy undertone so I'm just gonna let it sit for like 30 seconds or something see if I can get the most coverage out of it as you see I do have pretty big bags underneath my eyes it's I just I have issues sleeping and it's just like even when you look at like my school pictures when I was in school I had that like I don't know I don't really know I just I've just never been good looking underneath my eyes that's my flaw <laughs> so I actually do have brow stuff I completely forgot about it I guess I'll do my brows next because as you like if you've seen me before you know I never do anything to my brows I don't feel like they honestly need much so I guess I'm just gonna like play with it a little you know this this is the blush from um she glam and it's just so hard to open unless you like stick your nail underneath there to get that little bit of like a lip. Like I'm sitting here like struggling this whole time and then I saw that and I was like, why am I doing that? Okay, so this is too light than what I like to wear underneath my eyes. I like it to basically match my foundation. Um, it does look pretty though. It's sitting nice, you know. At first, when I went to blend it out, like, it wasn't budging, and I'm like, oh no, I waited too long, it dried down. Yeah, I think it looks nice, though. Um, a little too light for me, but it's not, like, terrible or anything, you know? Um, yeah, I forgot. I, like, already forgot about the eyebrows. So, this side comes with this little 
itty bitty like eyebrow pencil that once you push out it doesn't look like it goes back in so be careful with that and then like the felt tip so I'm gonna go in with a oh it just broke off gonna go in with this itty bitty um itty bitty uh <laughs> I don't know why I'm the way I am uh eyebrow pencil and then go in with the uh the felt part holy crap so the color actually is nice and dark and it feels I feel like it like suits my eyebrows nice I am going to use uh the do color eyebrow brush thing you know just to distribute that because this did not come with a little brush and I just feel like there was at first it kind of like clumped up a little like it kind of broke off a little um the pencil side so not saying that they're looking bad by any means I'm just saying like I could have did that it honestly feels really weird doing my eyebrows since I don't do this and then in the front oh at first I thought I lost the cap I was like I already lost the cap um I'm gonna add some like brush strokes I'm gonna try anyway I've never done this okay so brow formula was also good you guys like I seriously have no complaints over anything so far. Am I the best at doing these eyebrow situations? No, because I've never done it. So it does look a little foreign to me. But I do it again, like it's cute. Okay, so let's see what I have left. I have the blush, I have a highlighter. I also have this She Glam contouring palette because I didn't see any bronzer on there. But I figured a lot of these colors I could use as bronzer, like this one or that. Well, all three of these, really. So I'm going to be using this for my bronzer. But then for my blush, I actually have two different blushes. I have this cream blush, which came in, like, look at this package. Is it not, like, luxury looking? It feels nice. You untwist it. And wait till you see this, Dofa. I just opened it when I opened the container. I was like, whoa, that's kind of different. It's just, like, this little sponge type thing you know so I'm gonna apply some of this and then I'm gonna go in with the contour or the bronzer and then the powder blush I'm kind of scared I don't know how bad this is gonna be this is like really cold fingers crossed it's not too much because I've seen videos of like liquid blush and it's like that much covers the whole face it seems like <laughs> um I'm gonna use like the side of the the brush the sponge the brush I like to keep my blush like farther back I was bringing it in the front for like a long while but it just doesn't I don't think it suits my face shape that looks so pretty it's just like Oh, your crush just walked in and you're a little blushy. And it does have like, sh you know, it is luminous. Like you can see like a shimmer in it. This is something I would definitely wear like on a hot summer day. And I just wanted to look cute outside. And oh, this is such a pretty blush. There were so many options of this as well. So I'll definitely be getting more blush. Oh, that blush is so cute. Um... I need to stop saying cute because I just can't. Okay, so let's take off this plastic for the contouring palette. There is a lot of lighter shades in here. I'm not setting my face at all. I typically don't set my face, so I didn't buy anything to set my face. I guess I could like use some of these lighter shades, but I'm not worried about it. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Noble Tint. Or Tint. I don't know really how to pronounce it. It's T-E-I-N-T. So Tint. Um, the only thing I don't like is that there's no mirror in this, so I'm gonna go back to the little blush palette. Um, I got a little bit on my brush. You can see that really well, so I'm gonna... I like to do almost like a stippling motion at first, and then do a blending motion. Because I'll go through at the end with like a big blending brush and blend it more. One of my last videos, I was like rewatching it and I was like, there was this big spot like right here that wasn't even blended. I was like, did I forget to even do that? Like what, what is going on? And I'm picking up just a little bit more with this big blending brush. It's just an eco tools brush, which I'm sure most of you know. I mean, they have their signature look. 
that looks really nice so far all of this is like really nice looking yeah oh my god all of this is blending like a freaking dream with the same brush i'm just gonna color switch it real quick just to make sure there's no more product on it and i'm gonna be using this she glam lightweight matte blush um again it doesn't say the color i'm sorry i threw all the boxes away because i was just sitting here like i'll open it all up so it's easier during video because everything like i said was plastic wrapped then in the box you know bubble wrapped then plastic wrapped then in a box then the product so i'm like I'll open this so this isn't like you know a 30 or 40 or 50 minute video of me struggling trying to open the these things so I'll add all the colors, everything I got in the description as I try to usually do. Um, I'm just going to apply this right over the regular blush. That um, liquid blush did have quite a bit of shimmer. It's almost like a gold shimmer. I don't necessarily dislike it. Um, I can't remember if it's had that. I like how I'm just applying blush everywhere now. Um... I don't know if it said it online or not, but it's still really pretty. This blush on top is really pretty. Um, the highlight, though, I actually got like this Cosmic Crystal Mousse highlighter in the shade Moon Moonbeam. Ooh, it feels really cool. I'm just, just using my BH brush, the same one I normally use. Ooh, that's a pretty like glow from within type highlighter i'm sure you can build it up so i do like this highlighter um for the name moonbeam like it's super pretty don't get me wrong but it's kind of it's not really like beamy you know what i mean which is fine because i do like you know glow from within type highlighters but i guess with the name moonbeam i was expecting more I have this cool lip gloss or matte lipstick actually it's a in the shade Blossom, and this is the matte part, and then afterwards, this is like a gloss that you put on. I'm really excited about this. Um, I think I'm gonna finish my eyes real- no, let me just do this, and then I'll finish my eyes. So if it looks normal, kind of has a weird floral smell so I'm not sure why and this is a lot lighter than what I thought it would be I don't dislike it by any means but it's so light um they have several different shades of this so I definitely will be going back I think I'm gonna let this dry though and then apply the lip gloss because I'm assuming that's what you're supposed to do Again, not really sure because I dumped the box and I'm an idiot for doing that. So I'm going to go back into the eyeshadow palette with the number 9 brush. Well, actually, I think I'm going to use the number 12 brush. And I think I'm just going to go into corduroy and apply that on my lower lash line. Ooh, my lips are drying fast. I can feel it. It's showing like every lump and bump on my lip. For my inner corner though, I think I want to use one of the highlights, or not highlights, but the like shimmery shades in here. I think I want to use this shade right here, which is uh, Moon Dust. I'm going to take that on the number 5 brush. So it brings like the color, like like the brightness into the corner, but it's not as shimmery as I would prefer. But I'm also, again, fine with it. I'm not like a really picky makeuper. Makeuper. I'm gonna apply that gloss to my lips because these are so dry. Let's see what it looks like. See if it like. I don't think I've ever had this like matte of a lipstick on my lips, like. It honestly feels like I can't move my lips. Like, I'm just like, eh. So it's kind of weird feeling. Um, I actually, it's not, the color isn't coming off with the lip gloss. So I actually really like that to where it can be like, 
looks like a lip gloss but it's actually a lip like a matte underneath so that's kind of nice um i'm gonna need, going to set like my face real quick and then i'm gonna do the mascara and then we will be done so the mister on this is amazing by the way because i've already like pre-pumped it to be ready and it's like just like instant and aggressive and i like it <gasps> i was way too close <laughs> Okay, maybe I don't like it because it's seriously like getting shot in the face with like, um, like a squirt gun in a way. It kind of shocks you. Let me see what it looks like. You can see like the droplets all over my face um, while that's drying. So there is this cool uh, mascara. It's the Lengthening and Voluming by Chic Lamb. So this is the lengthening side. I love the package of this, by the way. It's so cute. And this is the volumizing side. I can't remember which way you're supposed to go first, but I feel like you're supposed to volumize, then lengthen. I don't know. I'm just going to do the volumizing side first, and if I don't like it, then I add the, the lengthening side on it. So let's see. Ooh, it's really, like... I don't see any volume though, but this is like gripping every one of my eyelashes. Is this the is this the lengthening side? I thought the skinny side would be the lengthening side. Let me see. Okay, it's I haven't had my eyelashes stand that tall in for like a really long time. Maybe that other side's the length the lengthening, because this seemed like it more volumized. I don't really know, but look at the difference. That's a really big difference just from, like, one coat of each, you know? Like, I didn't even let them dry. Let me do the other side now. See, the curve in the wand, I think, helps a lot, too. This, like, this mascara is what's up as long as it lasts, like, throughout the day. Like, this is legit probably one of my new favorite mascaras. This looks so good. It did so good on my eyes. That shimmer shadow, by the way, seems like it's kind of like disappearing. Um, I'm not really sure. I'll have to do more testing with it, but it's cute for like, it's still there. It's just not nearly what I thought it would look like. I thought it would be more of similar to kind of like a cutting a crease situation. Maybe it's just me. I. Should I have thought that? I don't know. All right, you guys, this is the finished look. I actually, I really love everything that I use today. Like, I feel like my skin, like, honestly, my foundation and just my skin in general has never looked this good. This honestly might be, like, my new foundation, like, I don't know. Everything's such good quality. I'm about to get on their website again and see what else they have because this is like legit. You guys need to get on this. Even their sponges, like this three pack, you can't even beat that. I mean, this sponge did look like it, you know, absorbed some stuff, but my skin looks great. So, and it's super bouncy. The mascara I really liked. The lipstick. That's what's up. I'm going to actually kiss my hand and see if it is kiss proof. It's not. There is color coming off, but I, I don't know. I still like it. Um, I'm excited to go buy some more shades, that's for sure, because I love, like, I'm a, I'm a gloss person now, and just the matte lipstick underneath. I am loving this, you guys, so... I'll have everything in the description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to support this channel and to see more uh, fun and exciting things. And um, I will see you guys next time. And this was fun. I'm excited. Okay, I'm done, you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.